Now this, Pope Francis will issue an encyclical on climate change and income inequality. Basically, that is a policy declaration. And if you look at the way the Pope addresses climate change, very similar, if not identical, to President Obama. All rise, Judge Andrew Napolitano. I don't know if he's going to compel Catholics to uh, a certain agreement with him. He really doesn't have the authority to do that. I think going to suggest that the government has the duty of keeping the environment clean because that will help save the poorest among us. Now, if he wants to issue that as a political statement to me, that's Jorge Bergoglio, also known as Pope Francis, giving a political opinion which is irrelevant to Catholicism. But if he's going to move the mechanism of the church behind something, you it better not be when political. You've got President Obama aligned with Pope Francis. That is a very powerful force shifting public opinion, in my opinion, to the left I, worldwide. I agree with you, particularly on this issue, particularly on an issue where it's difficult to have a correlation between what the Pope is saying and what his duty is, which is to save souls. Climate change will impact every country on the planet. No nation is immune. So I'm here today to say that climate change constitutes a serious threat to global security an immediate risk to our national security. And make no mistake, it will impact how our military defends our country. And so we need to act, and we need to act At the top now. of our list was uh, the urgency of a world response uh, to the threat of climate change. Uh, and the Secretary General has been a consistent champion of a concerted, unified, uh, global response to the issue. Uh, I shared with him the work that uh, we are doing in the United Nations uh, so that we can be a leader in addressing uh, this critical, perhaps the critical issue that faces uh, humankind going forward. The year 2015 must be a time for global action on sustainable development and climate change. In Paris this December, all governments must commit to a meaningful universal agreement on climate. We can do it. But we must join hands to mobilize finance, move markets, and encourage bold action from world leaders. Live Earth Go to Paris will bring us together and amplify our voices. It will help us seize the opportunity of a low carbon future. We all have a role to play in building a more peaceful, prosperous, and sustainable world for ourselves and for our children. I urge people everywhere to take climate action now. Thank you. We are here all together because we know that the world needs to fight climate change with a much, much greater seriousness. Taking action now will not only solve the problem of protecting the planet, but it will be a tremendous boost for economy. We've got to tackle the issue of carbon pricing. In other words, if you use carbon tax, if you use various tax mechanisms to raise revenue and reallocate intelligently, you do well for the ecology. I urge political leaders of the world uh, to prioritize their resources and their political energy on climate change. Climate change is a defining issue of our times and existential uh, threat uh, to our life and uh, development. We have to address this issue uh, immediately. On September 24th, uh, His Holiness, Pope Francis, uh, will visit us here at the United States Capitol. Uh, that day, uh, His Holiness will be the first pope in our history to address a joint session of Congress. Uh, we're humbled that the Holy Father has accepted our invitation and certainly look forward to receiving his message on behalf of the American people.
cannot. I will not worship that. 